Blip, blip. All right. What are those? Those are just fast food boxes that my lodger, lodger, I mean squatter, he comes in of an evening, buys fast food, eats it, leaves the boxes everywhere. I never catch him, I never see him. He also makes a mess of everything else because he's a bit of a sod. I know it's quite dark, so I'm going to turn some more lights on. That wasn't very well thought out, was it? Oh, went a bit crime watch then. It was me, Gav. Not that a witness ever admits to doing anything, because that would be completely stupid. Yeah, I just wanted to have a quick chat with you, catch up, you know, from the other night. Uh, another pointless one. I was sat on the sofa the other night, and I couldn't express myself properly. I couldn't express... Finger. Did you see that? Massive finger. I had that um, massive finger uh, problem all my life, and sometimes I'm trying to dial someone on the phone. It just doesn't happen. But what was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, the Ted Price Cup uh, for the... Aikido malarkey has gone back. You know, my name was engraved on it. I had it for a year, looked after it, stayed up there for quite a lot of the time. It's gone back now. And speaking of Aikido, as I was just then, I passed the grade the other day. I'm now first Q, first KYU, which means my next grade is Shodan, Shodanaru, Fustadan, Belteru. So that's going to be difficult. I <laughs> didn't think I'd ever get there. Not that I'm there yet. But yeah. You know, bit of martial arts, keeps me out of trouble, you know, keeps me off the streets, expands my mind a bit. And speaking of expanding your mind a bit, look, boxes, millions of boxes. This is for the move. I've got somebody coming to look at the flat on Saturday at 2pm and uh, the, the landlady has been in touch and the, and the people who I have the flat with and they've said, can we come in and see it? And I was like, you can, but it's a bit of a tip. I was thinking of smearing poo on all the walls as well. What do you think? Do you think that would help? Do you think that would add a bit of character? You know, I am an animal at the end of the day, and this is my cave. But uh, probably won't do that, in fairness. It's not nice uh, to have to clean it off, and it gets in your fingernails, probably. Not that I'd know. There was a point to this. There, re there genuinely was a point. I want to tell you that was moving. Oh, there he is, look. There he is again. His massive phone. He's such a deacon. Such a joey deacon. Yeah, moving house um, is happening. That 31st of December. Got the Aikido grade. Uh, wearing a dressing gown. Beards in uh, full force. Um, because it's, it's just growing. That's what beards do. They grow for a living. It's not a bad job. I mean, I wish I could just grow for a living. I haven't grown since I was 12, mentally. Physically I have, because I'm taller and fatter. Not that I've been eating pizzas and burgers, unlike the, uh, the squatter. So yeah, um, oh, uh, Christmas, Christmas, uh, Father Christmas has been in touch um, with a certain, oh, ah, oh, ho, ho, let me just check, let me just check the area for, uh, for clues. Yeah, it's all right, because allegedly he might have been in this room, he might have left some items, that I didn't want this little nosy bonk to see. And, uh, I'll, crikey, actually, w wind that back, because if I had seen them on the camera, I could have not uploaded this. But I don't watch my own videos, do I? Dilemma. Oh! Thing is, what it is with me, at the moment, I'm really happy. I'm, like, extraordinarily happy. Even though I've got, you know, a lot of work on, and I've got a house move, and it's cold and all that, but... I keep getting really positive. I mean, I've got a cold and I'm just like, yes, life's amazing. And I think what it is, I drink far too much coffee. So I was thinking of cutting it out and not having any. So uh, I cut that back today and I was like, no, I want my coffee. No, I didn't. Uh, but I do, I really, really like it, whether it's rubbishy instant or delicious, properly made, nice coffee. I was thinking of getting one of them aero presses. There's a guy at work's got one. It's like a plunger and you put proper coffee in it. <laughs> Plunge it and it tastes better than instant. But having said that, does coffee make me really wired and alive and electric like this? I think it does. Do you like coffee? Do you not like coffee? Do you prefer tea? I was thinking of drinking tea of an evening. What's that? Um, camel mile. Oh, sorry, chamomile, not camel mile, because that would be stupid. That would be a really long camel with loads of humps. But yeah, uh, just to wind me down of an evening. Because I used to have hot chocolate at night, but that's got sugar in it. And that's just as bad as drinking coffee. Have you tried chamomile tea? Does it wind you down? Or would you prefer a bit of Horlicks? 
Do you even like hot drinks? Are you even there? It'd be funny if no one was. Well, I don't think anyone is actually, because let's face it, why would you be? What's the point of this? I'm turning around again, stood up, making people feel sick. There's only three people that ever watch these, but yeah, I do like a coffee. And at work on a Friday, we have special coffee from the coffee shop downstairs. So I'm probably not going to get any more relaxed. I've been staying up till about midnight, waking up naturally at about seven. And it's just getting worse. I just need to wind down. So if you've got any tips for making someone that's hyper, not so hyper, you know, a little bit more relaxed, I'd love to hear them. That's all I'm going to say for now, because I've probably waffled on for a good 5 minutes, 40 seconds, something like that. So I am going to go, and I'll take care, and I hope you do. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <sighs> <sighs>